Buzz Lightyear is one of the most popular characters in all of Pixar, so having his first solo movie is something that many have been waiting for years now. And yet, the Disney Pixar movie Lightyear was banned in several countries over the same-sex kiss. What else is there to know about Pixar's latest movie and what did Disney have to say about the issue? Find out more in today's video. Disney Pixar's Lightyear got released on a controversial note after the latest Pixar movie got banned in 14 countries over same sex kiss. Buzz Lightyear, a space ranger who appeared in the 1995 film Toy Story and several sequels, was created by Pixar Animation Studios and directed by Angus McLean. According to Disney, Lightyear is the definitive origin story of Buzz Lightyear. According to reports, 14 nations have banned Disney Pixar's recent movie Lightyear because it contains a same-sex kiss scene. The United Arab Emirates and other adjacent Islamic nations leaders decided against holding public screen screenings of the film because it said that it violated their guidelines for media content. Bahrain, Egypt, Indonesia, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Malaysia, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, and the United Arab Emirates are among the countries mentioned. The United Arab Emirates, where the movie was set to premiere on June 16th, banned it on July 13th due to its violation of the country's media standards. The UAE is a Muslim-dominated nation that criminalizes same-sex relationships, just like other countries in the larger Middle East. In 14 Middle Eastern and Asian nations, including Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Kuwait, Egypt, Indonesia, and Malaysia, Disney failed to gain the release of Lightyear. According to the South China Morning Post, the movie is not likely to be released in China as well in light of this. A Lightyear producer reportedly told the publication that she believed that the movie wouldn't debut in China because Disney refused to make the changes the government had requested. Who were the same-sex couple that shared a kiss in the movie? According to reports, Hawthorne, the character voiced by actress Uzu Aduba, and the person she is seeing share a brief kiss in the film, which stars Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story movies. The kissing sequence might be illegal in Indonesia, the country with the largest Muslim population in the world, according to the chairman of the film's censorship board, who spoke to the New York Times last July 15th. Indonesian law forbids films that depict deviant sexual behavior. In a statement, Chairman Rami Fibri stated that the film censorship board in Indonesia doesn't want to get sucked into the argument over whether or not LGBT people should be supported or opposed, but he also added that the disputed kissing scene is sensitive. On the other hand, Lightyear can officially be viewed in Malaysia on Netflix, but before it can be viewed in theaters, the film censorship board has urged Disney to modify several scenes, including one that is romantic. Regarding this issue, Chris Evans couldn't help but feel frustrated over the issue which he openly expressed in an interview. These oppositions to the same-sex kiss, according to Evans, were frustrating when he addressed them at the Monday Night Film premiere in London. It's great that we're a part of something that's making steps forward in the social inclusion capacity, but it's frustrating that there are still places that aren't where they should be, Evans expressed in a statement. Disney will not remove anything from the movie, especially something as important as the loving and inspirational relationship that shows Buzz what he's missing by the choices he's making, producer Galen Sussman said at the event. Mo Morrison's voice actor Taika Watiti also stated that they look forward to a moment when they won't need to have this discussion, and when anyone can watch a movie without raising an eyebrow. According to the actor, these kind of things are typical and ought to be accepted as such. He did emphasize that whenever groups like them take these tiny efforts, even though they may appear to be tiny, they are strides in the direction of normal normalizing humanity and love. Watiti continued by adding he felt bad for nations that aren't interested in this movie due to a minor, bizarre detail like that. Months before its release, Disney was in hot waters for refusing to take a stand against Florida's Don't Say Gay bill until employees walked out. Many Disney employees pressured the company's CEO, Bob Chapek, earlier this year to take a strong stance against the anti-LGBTQ discrimination. Florida, which is home to the Disney World Resort, was considering legislation at the time. In March, after employees published an open letter criticizing Disney's response to Florida's Don't Say Gay legislation, Pixar restored the same-sex kiss in Lightyear. The production had not questioned the nature of the character's connection, but their kiss had been removed. Disney vocally criticized the bill before Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed it into law in late March. Later, the Florida House voted to abolish Disney World's long-held special tax classification, which the theme park near Orlando has 
enjoyed. In comparison to Disney's dispute with Mr. DeSantis, the worldwide opposition to Lightyear has received significantly less attention from the American public. However, it serves as a warning to the business that cultural conflicts over children's programming do not stop at the US borders. Unfortunately, despite the LGBTQ community's many efforts to be progressive, we still live in a world that has yet to accept anyone and everyone to love who they want freely. The recent release of Lightyear has shown us that a lot of countries still have a long way to go. Officials in Indonesia had flagged the kissing sequence to Disney, according to Mr. Rami, of the film censorship board, and they were now waiting for the studio to transmit the finished movie with subtitles for censorship review. A 2019 legislation that forbids films with vulgar sexual behavior or sexual content that is deviant or unreasonable would likely prevent a movie containing a homosexual kissing scene from passing a censorship review in Indonesia, Mr. Rami added. People who are openly gay, lesbian, or transgender are persecuted throughout the Islamic world. In Malaysia, laws that target them have their origins in religious tribunals and restrictions enacted during the British colonial era on both Muslims and non-Muslims. Some politicians have attempted to link LGBTQ people in Indonesia, where nearly 9 out of 10 of the nation's 270 million inhabitants identify as Muslims, with immorality, sickness, and corruption of Indonesian culture. Requests for comment were not answered by Italia Film International, a firm that distributes Disney movies in the Middle East and has advertised Lightyear on its website. Lightyear is the first commercial children's animation to feature overt homosexual depictions, according to a statement released this week by Singapore's Infocom Media Development Authority. It also said that Disney had rejected its suggestion to release two versions of the movie, one of which would be edited for younger audiences. Although it's a superbly animated film set in a US environment, Singapore is a varied culture with a variety of sensibilities and opinions, according to Cheryl Ng, who leads the agency's film consultation panel. Following the backlash against the movie, a lot of LGBTQ groups shared their support and argued that it's important to depict the scene since it's a representation of the queer community. According to the executive director of the Grand Rapids Pride Center, it is unethical to forbid scenarios that might make the younger generation feel more represented because doing so makes them feel more alone. Somebody seeing a same-sex kiss in a movie, it doesn't make them gay, but what it does is that if somebody is already gay, it makes them say, oh, I'm not alone. By us banning things, it's making people feel isolated and alone, said Jazz McKinney in a statement. McKinney went on to say that until someone tells us otherwise, we naturally believe that they are heterosexual. Because they feel different, members of the LGBTQ community frequently struggle with identity issues and wonder things like, does it mean I'm weird? Does that mean I'm bad? This act has the potential to elicit a lot of negative feelings. McKinney also believes that the more this is covered in the media, the better it will be for us. The restriction poses a significant challenge to one of Disney's biggest animated pictures of the year at the box office, as the movie business emerges from the depths of the coronavirus pandemic. Aside from the same-sex kissing scene, there was another reason that Lightyear got banned in the United Arab Emirates. According to a Variety article, the movie had its license cancelled after social media posts claimed it insulted Muslims and Islam. The movie had earlier been given the green light for release in the UAE. In addition to this, Variety claims that a source close to Malaysia's film censorship board requested that the movie be edited. Disney reportedly rejected the changes and pulled the movie from consideration for a national theatrical release. The movie might nevertheless be made available on the parental control equipped Disney Plus Hotstar service. Lightyear is not the first film to be prohibited in Malaysia. Screenings of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, and Rocket Man were previously prohibited due to the presence of scenes implying gay relationships. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the latest Disney Pixar film, Lightyear. Have you watched the movie yet? Without spoiling anything, tell us what you think about the movie in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.